Hello YouTubers. Before I present my cooking video, I'd like to thank all of you who left comments and letters giving me information and advice about uh, animation. Um, I realise now how very difficult it is and um, I will be searching through some of the um, websites that you've given me um, and it gives me even more admiration for the people that uh, people that do it so thank you thank you very much so let's get cooking so uh, this is my piece of brisket um, for those of you who might not know the brisket is basically the flesh around the chest of a bovine and um, it's cut into a, a thickness and then it is tied up with string you can see one of the bits of string there and that's quite an art really um, and my father taught me how to do it you use a slip knot but to watch a professional uh, butcher do it is really quite like a work of art um, the um, the great thing I think about uh, brisket is that it's a very uh, open texture and quite soft as opposed to the um, steaks that you'd get from the rear end of the animal from the loin and the rump um, and of course uh, I don't know whether I'm typical of an old person but um, uh, we've still got teeth but as my dentist said to me recently he said yeah they're all right he said but they're getting a bit moth-eaten he said so uh, um, we must have something reasonably soft to chew and of course brisket uh, fulfills that um, condition and so I love it it's a very sweet meat and it's very tender and it's very nice and uh, one of the other advantages is that um, uh, when it's cold it's delightful to make sandwiches uh, to cut into slices to make uh, make sandwiches and a, um, a beef sandwich with a bit of horseradish sauce um, or a bit of English mustard is absolutely delightful so I've cut up some carrots I've got um, to take that off there I think a bit more of that off um, an onion which I'm going to put in and I'm also going to use a swede um, that's a very common English uh, vegetable I'm only going to use half of it and I'm going to try to cut it up into um, well small cubes but this is geriatric cooking so they probably just finish up to be bite size lumps I suppose but um, that's fine so um, we'll see what we can do with those it's pretty tough and of course the vegetables will take different times to cook so I will um, I will have a look at it when it's cooking about every half an hour to judge the state of the vegetables and uh, I don't want them to cook too long I don't want them to go mushy so um, time of cooking I have no idea this is geriatric cooking and um, um, but slow and low is the answer a stew that boils is a stew that spoils so they say so uh, um, just bear with me while I I have just uh, try not to cut my fingers off um, oh dear no I didn't cut anything uh, anyway that that will do they are hopefully nice bite size chunks and uh, I pop those into the pot hopefully so in they all go on top of which I will put my my um, piece of brisket and Oh dear, I think I'd better get a different bed down there because it's not settling down enough because I'm going to 
I'm going to cover it with um, water if you like but uh, to this water I've added an oxo cube but you could add any of your uh, things that you like we need some more liquid in there lovely and I will um, put it in the oven at, oh I don't know on about uh, 150 maybe and then I will have a look at it uh, from time to time the other half of the um, Swede I will save because that could be um, grated and cooked down to a sort of um, mash if you like which is well a very nice vegetable in its own right but also um, can be used to thicken up a soup so um, uh, I'm sorry you can't actually see me but you know what I look like and uh, I can't be bothered to keep readjusting the camera so uh, um, I'll let you know later how it turns out so uh, for the moment goodbye so there you have it the Swede is possibly a little overcooked so possibly I would put that in halfway through the cooking time but the meat is delightfully tender and I'm sure that will be a very very nice meal